In this video, we will see how we can create a velvet material. We will convert the bed headboard to a base velvet. First, I will open some reference images of a velvet that I downloaded from the web. So, what are the attributes? It basically consists of two different colors, a lighter and a darker base. And they get mixed together in this random pattern you see here. It seems soft and it has some sheen. Here is another reference. Again, we see multiple colors, not one single base, and on this close-up we can also see the bump effect. Let's put this info in our 3ds Max file. Open the Material Editor. Pick the fabric we have applied to the headboard and make a copy of this. We do that because if we go and directly change this fabric material, then all the objects that this is assigned will change, which means the pillows will also change, the armchairs and so on. And we said that we only want to change the headboard material. So now we have created a copy here that is independent from the other fabrics we have applied in the scene. We said that to make a velvet we need to have two different hues of the same color. One of them will be this one and now we will create the second one. Select this material and make a copy. And we want this copy to be darker. How are we going to achieve that? We will add a color correction. Right click in the active view and go Maps, General, Color Correction. Connect the Color Correction to the Diffuse Map and the V-Ray Bitmap to the Color Correction. What does Color Correction do? It allows us to adjust the color of a texture. It's like we open the texture in Photoshop and adjust its properties. Double-click on Color Correction node to see its settings. And I will also double-click the preview to increase it. So we can play with the hue shift to change the color of the texture. Or play with the saturation to make the texture grey or add more red. Or we can also play with the brightness and the contrast. Let me take the values back to the default ones. So now the texture before and after the color correction is exactly the same. And I will just change the brightness of the texture to minus 30. And now you can see here the final result. So now we have created two same fabrics with different hues. And we wanted to combine those two. How can we combine two materials? Right click in the active view and choose materials, V-Ray, V-Ray blend material. As its name states, this material type blends two or more materials. Connect the first material to the base and the second material to coat one. And apply this very blend material to the headboard. Let's uh, double click on the very blend material node. How does it work? VRA blends 50% of the base material and 50% of the coat material. This 50% is set through this color. Click on it. If we make it black, the base material gets 100% and the coat material 0%, so we only see the base material. If we make it white, then it's the opposite. Only the coat material is visible. At 128, it's the 50% and we scroll up or down on the whiteness section to set the desired blend amount.
if I open again the reference image, what we want to do is to blend these two materials using a pattern. I googled the velvet bump and after some research, I found this black and white image, which resembles a lot to the pattern we see in the reference photo. How do we use this? Go to the material editor, double click on the V-Ray Blend material to see its parameters and next to the code material we see this No Map button. Click on it and choose V-Ray Bitmap. And select the black and white texture. Where it is black, it puts the base material, and where it is white, it puts the coat material. Select the black and white image node and hit on the source edit material in viewport to see how it applies on the headboard. It looks pretty good, so I will hit render. So now we see both finishes on the headboard and they blend based on the texture pattern we applied. I think that uh, the difference between the two finishes is too prominent, so I will go to the second material, the coat material, and change the brightness to minus 15%. Let's do one more render. And now it's perfect. Let's also open the reference. And yes, it's perfect. We can also play around and add a reflection map to give it some scene. I will go to Google, type Velvet Reflection Map, and I will download this one and add it to the reflect map. Let me highlight one more time that to blend two materials we need to use a black and white, not grayscale image. I mean, this map I downloaded for the reflections also has the velvet pattern, but it's not black and white. If we put this and render, we don't get the velvet effect anymore, so be careful to use a black and white image.